And this morning we are making super oatmeal, which I highly recommend for all of our um, athletes here at the Olympic Training Center in addition to outside athletes. Easy, fast, easily transportable, and it's cheap. As you can see, these ingredients are normal ingredients. There's nothing special about them. Oats, whey protein powder, dark cocoa, ground flax, blueberries, raisins, and or a banana here or there. Very cheap, cheap very economical, and you can find all of these things in a normal grocery store. And what we usually like to do is make it quick, simple, and easy. And what you see here is that we're just using a rice cooker, what we, what we call a hot pot. It has a hot plate in the, in the middle of it, and it's just connected to a cord, so all, all we need is a plug, essentially, to plug it in. I've turned it on, I've heated it up a little bit. You can see our ingredients that we're going to be working with. The first thing I'm going to do is take some water. You can certainly use milk, too, as your base. Pour it in the hot pot. And we're just going to let it boil, come to a boil, which should take about 30 to 60 seconds. Very quick, very easy. So the water is coming to a boil now. Very quick, very easy. And again, you can use milk, soy milk, regular milk if you want to. Just use it for some extra protein. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my rolled oats and or the instant oatmeal packet and take my spoon. So we're going to pour the rolled oats right into the boiling water. The next thing I'm going to add while this is cooking is my whey protein powder. Pour that in. And the next thing I'm going to add is just a little scoop of baking cocoa, dark chocolate baking cocoa. This specifically for the antioxidants. A lot of people think chocolate, it, you know, it's, a, it's a comfort food, it's emotional food. I use it for antioxidants and athletes need quite a few antioxidants um, to support their, their exercise and training routine. So we'll pour a little bit, about a spoonful of that in. Give that a little bit of stir. And then the next ingredient, I'm going to put my frozen or my ground flax in. Omega-3 um, fats are included in this, and this athletes need quite a bit, um, no matter the age or the ability for athletes, because omega-3 fats will actually help the, the deliver more of the nutrients that we're giving the body, carbohydrate, protein, and fat, to their muscles. So it reduces inflammation and it helps with blood flow to and from muscles. Okay. Next thing I'm going to add are my frozen blueberries partially thawed. You can use fresh blueberries, you can use frozen blueberries. It really doesn't make a difference. You can use strawberries, blackberries, anything that you want. The, the rule that I give is the more colorful, the better. The more colorful, the darker a fruit, um, the more antioxidants that we have in it. So again, I'll just stir that around. And then last but not least, for a little bit more carbohydrate, a little bit more energy sustainability throughout the day, I'm going to open up just a little travel packet of, of raisins. And this will add a few more carbohydrates, a few more antioxidants, good vitamins and minerals. So we'll just open this up. And for those of you who like a wonderful breakfast, super oatmeal, protein packed, high carbohydrate, high antioxidant rich breakfast, that is it. So as you can see, this is a quick and easy breakfast. And, and as you can tell, we don't need a kitchen to make this. A lot of times all we do is send in athletes um, on the road traveling competitions or, or, or um, training program or training locations with a little hot pot and as you can see the ingredients are very mobile and in fact most of the time I will combine all the dry ingredients in one baggie and then the wet ingredient meaning the blueberries or you can even add a banana instead of blueberries you can travel with this in a backpack you can put it all in the hot pot put it in a suitcase very simple all you need is a source of power and you can make a breakfast from the time you pour all the ingredients in and boil the water no longer than three minutes from start to finish with this breakfast. Ideally, you would eat this about an hour or two before a training session or competition, and you can also use this as the post-competition meal within that first 15 to 60 minutes. This will serve the same needs as a pre as it does post-competition or training.